hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. This video is if you stockpiled food, you sh Oh no. Oh no. Uh-oh, I'm still here. You sure are going to be glad. What is the ultimate goal? My phone wants me to buy a new phone. Okay. What is the ultimate goal? We'll get into that in a minute. Okay, uh, today I want to think about milk, bread, eggs, and cheese. So do I have milk, bread, eggs, and cheese? So I went to the 99 cent only store today and they had the seeds again for, uh, 99, for uh, 25 cents. So I bought a variety of seeds and I will slip them in my seed bag. And it's been about a month ago since I planted uh, the garden. So now I want to plant another one. I went to grocery outlet and so number one strategy is if I do buy food, buy drastically reduce food. So I bought two buttermilks and this is good for bread making. And I got it drastically reduced for 57 cents. So that was cheap as dirt. Then I bought this um, golden moon milk for I think it was 67 cents. 97 cents so that was drastically reduced as well so i have milk so today i bought this gold glassware glass because i had four of these and i broke one so um if you have a grocery outlet it is turmeric ginger and you can heat it i think that would be good and it tastes kind of like buttermilk. I'm gonna go easy because you know, I'm kind of trying to go on a diet. Okay, so let me taste, here it is. It's yellow, it's golden milk in my gold, my amberware glass with my uh, candle I bought today. Look at this. Now this was the deal of deals. This is a really good candle from Pier 1 Imports, and I got it for uh, $2.99. So, okay, so I'm trying to find grow, uh, drastically uh, reduced food, and I wanted to mention something. At $0.99 cent only, the lady goes, are you on EBT? And I go, no. She goes, because you can buy seeds with your EBT there. So, um... What happened is when I was shopping today, I saw the canned food that was $1 a can is now $2 a can. I go, wow. What I think they're doing is they're charging a lot to freak people out. So then when they lower it, people will accept the higher price. They'll just be glad it's not $2 a can. Although it was already $1.50 and $1.49, so the other, okay, number one, I am pursuing drastically reduced food. Number two, I am willing to eat cheaper food. So um, this is a, a hamburger, a quarter pound, see? I hope I don't drop it off the spatula. And uh, I use this maple bacon spice on it, and then I had some, um, garlic and pepper. So I'm going without the, um, I'm going without the ketchup and mustard and pickle relish, but I want to make myself a tasty little salad because I noticed, here is my new paleo book. See the uh, salad and it's got it looks like um, apples. It looks like, these look like Brussels sprouts. Uh, there's some pomegranates, some raisins. So I thought, yeah, that'll be good. That'll go good with my, um, this is all these, uh, cabbage, cabbage that I bought the other day. So what is in here? Okay. 
it's cabbage and carrots. So, uh, and these are very, very reasonable. So, uh, now this was not a good deal. This was $2.12, and I thought, oh, that looks good. I didn't think, oh, that's probably a $2 apple, but that's okay. I will eat it. I would suggest watching the, so with the rest of this, I'll make a little batch of applesauce, and then I'll make some applesauce bread. So let me cut this up. Normally, I don't eat the peels, but I thought that would look pretty in my uh, salad. So, um, okay, so it's going to be cabbage, apples, raisins, and walnuts. And if I have some left, then I'll just, uh, I think that's enough. I mean, I don't, well, I can use a little bit more. This is a dull knife. It's a good way to cut yourself. Let me see if this is a delicious apple, $2.12. It is really good, I must say. Okay, so I will just take some uh, raisins out of this and put them in my, these raisins are really good. This. Um, I would really recommend this $2.55 at Aldi. Uh, it seems like I bought a different one that was a pound package, and this one seems like it has more uh, peanuts in it. The other one was $5 for a pound. Per pound, these are actually cheaper, but I think these have more peanuts, so you got to put up with that. Peanuts are okay. Uh, you know what is a good thing to use your peanuts up in? is granola. Probably the next, next granola I make is going to be peanut butter granola. Okay, this looks good. And then uh, it could be any kind of nuts, but... At some point, I bought a lot of walnuts. Okay, so one drastically reduced food, two cheaper food, um, and then grow a garden. And the main thing I want to grow is soy. And um, I wanted to mention something. You know this, uh, this seed package that I bought? It was $20. My uh, my uh, daughter-in-law has some of them, too. They give you a lot. And I don't have any duplicates. And these actually sprouted within days. And then I bought uh, this package of, of soy. And I'm trying to grow that so that I would always have soy milk. And uh, tofu. Uh, because I learned off of one of the Vietnamese uh, old grandmothers, I think it was Japan, and they were nearly starving, and as the stories always go, an old man came by and gave them uh, some soy, and I thought, why wait until a famine of sorts? So I need mayonnaise, I need ketchup, and I need relish. Uh, I think a uh, sweet relish would be good in this. This is a feature man salad dressing. I hope he comes back. You know, um, I wouldn't like to see him ruin his channel. Uh, if you have um, a YouTube channel yourself, it can be a lot of work. I don't do that much work because I don't edit. I want my channel more like you're here with me and we're talking. So um, the idea of growing a garden is that you would learn to generate food year round. And another thing well worth learning to uh, grow is cherry tomatoes. I mean, those could really come in handy, especially if you got good at sprouting them. 
So I'm trying, the major things I'm trying to grow are um, grapes and soy and cherry tomatoes. And there's other things that are really easy to uh, grow too. Oh, my salad looks good. So what I'm doing is I'm working towards a paleo diet. I've been really, really bad, and it's hard to control. Oh, my salad looks good. All right, take a look at that. That won't make me suffer. Uh, I may not have a perfect application of the paleo diet. It takes a while. Um, I mentioned to you that I ran into a woman. Um, I bought these um, olives and I thought I'll try them and they're actually really good. So, okay, number three thing is grow a garden. Number four thing is find low cost meals. So this is actually really a uh, low cost. Okay, that'll be good tomorrow. And then uh, the, the hamburger is a little bit scanty on the protein. So um, one thing about diets, if you are on a diet, if, if you want to fail, make your diet a misery. And that is guaranteed. They say five olives is... They forgot a serving size so uh, this is a low cost meal find a low cost meal <laughs> okay now so we have drastically reduced food cheaper food grow a garden find low cost meals and the goal what is the ultimate goal the ultimate goal is zero dollars on food for a year so it's the 15th of the month so I will be going zero dollars on food nothing uh, unless I become too miserable like I don't know what could make me miserable so when you're doing the zero dollars you just go without so that's what I plan on doing so uh, the goal the ultimate goal is you would go a year without spending any money you would just eat the food. Hopefully you stockpile. Okay, so now uh, also plan for needed items. So today I bought these sunglasses. These are cute. See, they have a blue lens. Okay, do you remember last summer they had us wearing black? All summer. And then they had us wearing red and black all winter. I go, I am never doing that to myself again. I am going for white, beige, and brown. And I am planning for that. And I don't care if my hair doesn't look good with those colors. So, um, my purse is getting shot and my beige shoes are getting shot. So today I bought this purse for $5.25 and I already had these shoes. So uh, that should get me through the summer. What I plan on doing is totally destroying purse one and then I have purse two and purse, and I have lots of sunglasses. And when I'm done with them, I sell them at the swap meet. So there's 15 days of the month left. I won't be spending any money. I will tell you if I spend some. I will tell you if I'm going without something. I can't imagine. When I, when I used to be a poor, starving, single woman, I wasn't going without anything. I came home, I made some like spaghetti or some tacos or some hamburgers or some hot dogs or some macaroni and cheese. And that is what I'll do. And I will tell you guys. Okay, you guys, please like, comment. You're probably thinking, I don't believe you, Rhoda. You can't go one day without spending money. You ought to bet. You might say, how, how can you say that? One day at a time with no alcohol. Let me tell you, I could go one day at a time without spending money very easily. 
Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.